Hello everyone and welcome once again to TriveLab, the channel to learn everything about technical analysis and the financial markets alike. Today I want to focus once again on Bitcoin. I want to uh, talk about the top that we have now seen at $49,000 on Bitcoin, uh, how I have covered this piece of price action very long in advance, how I've traded it in the heat of the moment. And of course, we will close off by talking about what I'm expecting next on Bitcoin. So while everybody is now talking on the internet about, I told you so, I've predicted this top, where is the proof? Well, let me show you, ladies and gentlemen, we have been talking about in the tribe for months and months and months about that $50,000 target. Uh, that I have had for nearly a year um, done uh, an Elliott Wave stream within the tribe where we came to the conclusion that we are in a corrective wave so far. This stream has been done on the July, uh, on the 10th of July 2023. I had this count obviously already before, but before that our trading community didn't exist yet. And this was the first time I presented it to our members and since then we have been trading this really well all the time kept our eyes on the final target of that 48 to 50 thousand dollar region and keep in mind this is uh, presented on the july on the 10th of july 2023 and now let's look at the results there we are we have completed this final wave tapped that target perfectly perfectly and we have exposed and we have been focusing on this count uh, for over half a year collectively i myself have been trading this count longer because you know i've made this count really in the beginning of 2023 actually uh, but yeah that is how it is ladies and gentlemen and now we have seen this massive uh, retracement and in the last video i've already covered the um the forty thousand dollar region that was very important to give us that full confirmation of how that um top is then in right that, that would give us that high time frame confirmation and would you look at that here we are ladies and gentlemen we are here trading here at 38 thousand nine hundred and thirty at the time that i'm making this video right um and as we were approaching this uh, this level we i have been covering this section of the chart also way in advance this is what you get in the tribe you get video updates you get live price action updates dated all the way from january 5th which is basically all the videos that have come out for the members over the last month where i'm covering all these important events as you can see the etf week and going on from there sharing my trading ideas sharing my thoughts on the chart and um, sketching out trading ideas what i'm looking for to trade on that particular day and then when price is actually reaching the levels of importance um, of course you have the 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 preparation done by this video but of course you need more than that you also need uh you you know you need coverage when the price is actually reaching the level because i'm making a video and i can say that i'm going to trade a specific level right but it doesn't really mean that i'm actually going to uh, and that makes all the difference between, you know, being an analyst and actually being a trader. Because when we hit this $40,000 uh, region yesterday, uh, I've said to the group here, okay, you know what, I'm just going to set some alerts, right? I'm leaving Bitcoin for what it is today as we were just consolidating on a very long time frame there. Uh, I couldn't be bothered by just waiting this thing uh, out all the time. Simply set an alert uh, and I would come back to the computer whenever it gets gets hit well only just an hour later it did actually got hit and then i simply went into the chart looked at the reaction i had my plan ready only if the signs uh, were given that i wanted to see but instead i came to the pc and i saw a very weak reaction and i also said i have not taken a long here because it is a very 
weak reaction. It might still come, but for now I'm simply staying out and the plan is pretty much invalidated because I simply do not want to see. Now, obviously, as I'm doing this each and every day, sometimes um, for me, uh, what is very natural we requires a little bit more explanation, right? So obviously uh, I decided, I, I recognized that and obviously I gave some, some more explanation as to what do I actually want to see, uh, which was uh, at this point, along for me here is simply off the table. We got a very bad swing failure pattern of these lows. I simply did not see any of what I want to, uh, wanted to see, which was aggressive shorts at the lows, meaning people getting very bearish, followed by a very strong buyback. While we have had shorts during the drop to the downside, I missed those shorts at the absolute lows. And instead, I only saw longs getting stopped out, meaning that people are still very much in buy the dip mode and price was stalling around that level. And that also made it so that the setup I originally eyed for and wanted for uh, was already completely invalidated. And therefore I'm simply looking for lower prices or a reclaim of an important level, which by this time now would be a reclaim of $43,000. And this is only but a snippet of the live coverage that I do when actual important levels get hit. When do I take a trade? And when do I decide to actually take action? Not only taking the trade myself, but also focusing on the educational part of it. Why am I, why am I taking the trades that I do? And what is the reasoning behind it? So that the members and uh, can learn and understand really what it's like to think like a trader and only in that way you can actually make profits consistently not just a sporadic win out of luck but you can do this each and every day and you can actually turn this into a very very lucrative career on the condition you are willing to learn that is what we offer here in TriFlab. so you know, if you want to join, if you want to join this community and, and you want to learn more about this, then uh, find the link in the description below and uh, simply sign up. And I'm more than happy to see you inside. Um, but now let's move on to what do I expect next on Bitcoin? Well, at the moment, the trend at the moment looks just really, really weak. And for me, this top now has been confirmed as we have broken this $40,000 level, right? That I'm marking out here. We have held up this level as support many times uh, upon its creation, not only once, I would class this as a hold of support, even though we haven't tapped the level exactly as I'm classing this as a region for a third time, a fourth time, and even a fifth time before we saw every time the bounce getting weaker and weaker and eventually now falling through, actually backtesting this as resistance, officially classing now this level as lost. Right. So what can we expect from here on out? Well, simply put, I am looking for lower levels, starting with this old upward sloping range that has come in. Let me correct that color that looks absolutely horrendous. So <laughs> give me one second to correct this for, for a moment. There we go. This is the section that I'm looking for next. It is only natural that once price is breaking through a previously established support level, that it simply starts looking for the next support level. And for me, the beginning of that previous range set at $38,000, again, more or less classing this as a region. I'm classing this as, a, uh, as the first real level of support that is coming in, as we are now pretty much hovering really in the middle of nowhere, right? And the reason why I think we are going to go lower is um, becomes more evident when we start zooming into the more local time frame. Because what have we seen over here? We have seen support being lost, flipped into resistance time and time and time again. Not only here on our initial drop, we have Right, we have had this little piece of market structure dropped further, then uh, back tested this actually as resistance. We ranged on for a little bit, broken down, back tested that previous support level now again as resistance, holding this level, staying below the level, nothing reclaimed. And now we are doing the same thing even if we start zooming down into an even more local time frame. We have support 
or what I call an SR flip, support and resistance flip, SR flip, after SR flip, after SR flip, after SR flip, after SR flip, and now once again, SR flip, right? And now currently we're just simply ranging here in the middle of nowhere. There's no technical levels really here that are actually holding up. There's no strong reaction given. And for that reason, I'm expecting lower prices, eyeing the $38,000 initially, where I might be interested in taking a trade. And this is, uh, again, the perk of being a trader. I have a plan where I might take a potential long trade over here. And all I have to do is simply set alerts, wait for it to get hit, go to my computer, check out if I like the reaction and that will help me make a decision whether I'm going to trade yes or no. Simply just uh, if I don't like the reaction, then it will be very similar as what I did yesterday over here at that $40,000. If I don't like the reaction, I simply do not take the trade and wait for lower prices uh, to come. And then we can see the result over here and I will continue to do so until we see an actual sign of strength. Now, if you want to know exactly when and how I do this. This is what I cover, as explained before, in the Discord community, in our trading community, covering live price action, updating you live, what I see, how, how I'm interpreting the new data that is coming in live at the moment and how I'm going to go about my trade setup. And if I do not like the reaction at this level, once again, I'm going to do the exact same thing that, uh, that I've done over here. I'm simply going to not take the trade and wait once again for lower prices. Now, we have now only talked about the downside, right? But what about the upside? What 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 if we do, let's say, bottom out over here, which personally at the moment I think is unlikely, but let's say we do. What can we look for then? Well, for me, really, really the most important level to reclaim is at the moment the following level if we pull a fixed range which is a volume measurement tool over here we can we can map out our volume distribution from left to right from the range and we have our value area which is an acceptable place to consider price as fair value from the old range reclaim that that could be an initial sign of strength and as you can see we are very far away from that right now and that level has been extremely well respected as you can see over here this this is what we've done over the weekend. We've pumped into the level. Then we simply consolidated underneath it, never really actually reclaiming the level at all as there is no candle close above this level. And instead we have backtested it as resistance rather than support. And we are dropping further down towards the next level. So a sign of strength really would be a reclaim of $42,000. I would say a decent support level or where I am interested in possibly taking a trade if the reaction is good is going to be $38,000. Lose the level, then I'm going to really be looking for much lower prices. But as uh, I like to stay level-headed as a trader, I trade this level by level, and those levels that I'm looking at currently, am I, uh, I'm sharing with you right now within this video. Uh, and that is what I expect to happen uh, this week. Uh, lose the level, $38,000, like I said, I would be really looking for $35,000, $34,000 uh, at the minimum. Uh, but if we do so by then, you know, I'm going to have to reassess the chart and look also at the local price action. Once again, we'll be covering that in the community itself, um, you know, keeping everybody up to date as we are approaching these important key levels. Uh, in terms of where I trade, uh, I use two exchanges, two centralized exchanges that I like to use for my day trading practices, which is BitGet and Two bit. If you are uh, also looking for an exchange to trade on, this is what I trade on. Uh, I like the exchanges uh, a lot. Bitget is my main exchange, and I also uh, use Two Bit for uh, spot trading and derivatives trading. It's a no KYC exchange, so if that is your jam, then uh, you can follow the link in the description below to find those links there and you will get some nice discounts off of your trading fees which if you are a day trader can help you out massively on saving costs in the future um, and uh, on addition to that especially on Tubit, you get some nice bonuses and with that that is me out for today and uh, see you in the next video 
or see you within our trading community where I'm more than happy to introduce you to all the amazing people that are trading really well lately and uh, you can be part of that. So see you there and otherwise see you in the next video. Cheers everyone, goodbye.